do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello students today we are studying chapter control and coordination and in that we are studying topic structure of human eye now structure of human eye we all see through our eyes and inside eyes there are a lot of layers which help us to see let's study about them today the human eye is a very compact structure it consists layers like vitreous humors ciliary muscles your optic nerves pupil iris which works in coordination with your rods and cone cells so that one is able to see there's a lot of mechanism that works continuously so that we can see an image properly it is also defined by the optic evolution of an individual for example as human beings we could see things up to 25 cm anything beyond the range of 25 cm gets little faded and as it moves beyond further that we cannot see that object properly that's the reason things that are far away it is very difficult to focus on them also there is a nerve that's called as optic nerve that is present in your eye region that carries the inverted image information to the brain and then your brain understands and tries and analyzes it also the vitreous humors aqueous humors ciliary muscles contract and relax regularly so that the image is formed very confined structure of human eye now human eye is something that can sense light or whenever it senses light we can see an image formed in front of it due to the mechanism of the lenses or simply you say muscles that are present in the eye region now eye region has a nerve which is very crucial to it and it is the optic nerve when i see optic it is related to seeing or vision now optic nerve is a second cranial nerve it is associated to your brain which is cranium Our eyeball is made up of three concentric layers, and these three concentric layers have different function to them. Now, the outer layer, which is fibrous, is also termed as sclera or cornea. Then comes retina, the inner layer, and inside retina, one tends to see lot of things, the shape or the cells, which are termed as rods and cones. These are rods and cones are very crucial for formation of image. students as you can see in the diagram this is a structure of eye now just if you observe the outer layer that is termed as cornea just behind that iris and pupil are present and in between that the presence of aqueous humor is seen Now there is a crystalline lens. Now this crystalline lens is holded together by ciliary muscles. It is your ciliary muscles which contract and regularly relax this crystalline lens, which increases its size and decreases its size depending upon the amount of space or the space area you want to accommodate that particular image. Now just behind that you observe vitreous humor. This vitreous humor has cells which are termed as cones and rods. which is associated in retina and just behind that there is optic nerve this optic nerve carries the information to the brain or the image to the brain so students in this part of the chapter we did study about eyes the structure of eyes and i hope you are very clear about it thank you